I'm Debbie Homer Davis and welcome back to babylady.co.uk. We've got a very exciting preview for you today. Our friends at Silver Cross have developed this amazing car seat which is called the Motion All Sizes. It's a very, very clever, almost unique car seat in the marketplace. It really is a one size fits all car seat. If you're the type of person that doesn't want to keep purchasing things as your baby grows, you don't want lots of equipment in the house, or you really like value for money and you want something that's going to last you, this may well be the perfect product for you. So basically, this car seat will go from birth right up until your child no longer needs a car seat, which on average is between 10 and 12 years old. So it will literally grow with your child through every stage of their life up until they don't need a car seat, which is why they call it all stages. So let's have a look at it in a bit closer detail because we do know from your feedback that you do love all the little details. So I've got the seat here set up on my demo rig already um, and it is locked into place on our iFix bars. Now we have recorded a separate video in the car to show you how to install this in the car. Um, we're going to put a little card up here now. Um, you can click that link if you want to see the installation video. Um, because I know that that's also helpful, but this one is going to focus on the details of the product. Um, so we've done it in two pieces. So as I said, I've got it set up and I've also popped it in the recline position. One of the things you will need to check with this seat is that um, the angle of your car is good enough that you can use it for a newborn. So one of the things that Silvercross do so beautifully is they, they do their fabrics absolutely beautifully. All their fabrics are amazing. In fact, I interviewed, I was lucky enough to interview Nick Paxton on my podcast, which you can listen to on Apple Tunes and also on Spotify. Um, and he talked about his passion for fabrics. And what they've done is they've included these gorgeous fabrics, which they use bamboo a lot. Silvercross use the bamboo fabrics in their um, products across their ranges because it's a brilliant fabric to use for babies. It's incredibly soft, but it's also antibacterial. Um, so it is a really good product to use. And obviously it's very sustainable. You know, they're using these fabrics in a very sustainable way. Now, obviously you can't feel on this video, but this is so, so soft. This newborn inlay is all made using bamboo and it's absolutely gorgeous. So you know that your baby will be very, very protected. What I've done is I've turned this seat, you may have noticed, into the sideways position so that I can demonstrate it more clearly. Please do not try to drive the car with your baby sideways. I just want to just reinforce that, that it does have to be locked into the rear facing position um, till at least 15 months. But yeah, just so we can have a closer look at it, we've turned it sideways. So you can see these gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. So let's have a look in a little bit more detail. It's got a five point harness. And again, we're using all these lovely bamboo fabrics, all the soft uh, pads that protect your baby here, just on the sides here, all absolutely gorgeous. And the piece that goes over their tummy, just so nice. You can open the harness by pressing the red button in the middle and you have to press it quite firmly. And the reason this is quite firm is because obviously you don't want your toddler to be undoing it by accident. When you've undone it, one piece literally clips over the other and fits together. And if you want to loosen your harnesses, you've got a button at the top here. And if you pull on the bottom, you will be able to loosen them. Now, I love the little clever feature we've got here. There's a little hook on the side of the seat and you can actually pop your harness through here when you're getting your baby in and out, which is really useful because sometimes babies can be quite wriggly and fidgety um, and they sit on the harnesses and then you can't get them out. So that's a really nice thing as well. And underneath our harness pads here, we've also got anti-slip um, fabric so that it doesn't fall off their shoulders when they're inside the car seat. So I'm going to take now our newborn pieces out and show you a little bit about this. So these pieces come out in stages and this is quite um, unique. I haven't seen this before. I, 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 it may be available elsewhere, but I love the fact that you literally can take all of the in newborn insert out in stages because obviously babies are like people. They come in all shapes and sizes. So some of them might need more room in the width. Some of them might need more room in the height. So we can take our headrest off. Literally, it's got poppers on each end so we can remove it. We can also do the same thing with our side pieces. So if your baby's a little bit wider um, and you need more room in the side, you can literally remove these. Again, you've got two poppers on each side and we can take these out as well. Generally, you would continue to use your newborn insert for about four months, depending on who your baby grows, because you do want it to be flatter um, and more evened out. And we really are looking 
for their um, for their spine and also their internal organs to be kept as flat as possible. So in here we've got our wedge. So I've taken out those three pieces already. You just pop them down, and then you'll see here this is the newborn wedge. Now if I take this out, you can see that what this does is it goes into the base of the seat and it levels it out so that we've got a flatter seat. And it's quite it's quite a big wedge. And of course we've got our gorgeous bamboo fabrics in here as well. So we're going to remove this now so you can see how the seat gets a lot bigger. But it is really, really clever that you can do this in stages as your baby grows um, so that we can keep it the best fit for baby. Because part of the safety of this seat, obviously we have got the special um, SPS technology that's built into the shell that's done so well for Silver Cross across their range of products. But also it's important that we keep our baby snug inside the car seat. You have to remember that a car seat is like a crash helmet around your child. This is what is designed to protect your child in the unfortunate um, accident situation. We, we hope that none of you will have. So I've removed our newborn inserts now. And as our baby grows, there's a little hook on the top here. And what you do is you pull this up and this will allow the headrest to raise. I hope you can see this as your baby grows. So we can actually grow it to quite a tall position. And all of our harnesses will extend as well. And you can also adjust the seat in so it sits up. Now I'm going to turn it back round now, but baby must be rearward facing until at least 15 months. This is in fact uh, a legal requirement. The new uh, legal requirement says that all children should be rearward facing until at least 15 months. This is because it is five times safer to have your child rearward facing. Now I just want to cover the point that a lot of people say, oh, my child won't like it. Your child doesn't know any different. My child hasn't got any legs, any room for his legs. When you sit in the car, you don't sit in the car with your legs straight out. You do actually sit with them bent. So your child can adapt, but it isn't, um, it doesn't have a huge amount of leg room, which is why obviously you can turn it forward facing. So we would generally recommend that you keep it rearward facing longer than 15 months, probably, um, you know, as long as you can really. But should your child get that bit bigger, we just squeeze our handle at the front and I'm going to do a zoom in here so you can see this. It's a really easy lever to squeeze and it will allow you to turn your seat into the forward facing position, which we've now got. Now I'm going to turn the seat round so that you can see this in closer detail. So we've turned our seat, our actual demo seat round so that you can see this in closer detail. So as I said to you, this is what we call an all stages seat. So when you get past 18 kilos, generally you can't use this type of seat any longer, but this one you can because it's very clever. What Silvercross have done is they've made special pockets underneath the seat where you can store your harnesses and remove your harnesses, which means you can turn this seat into a booster seat. And that's where you get the longevity, the growth from. This is why this seat will last you so long. So underneath your seat here, you've just got to peel these fabrics off gently and around the section here. And if you come underneath here and you will need to take off your little covers, you will find there is a little pocket I come under our seat here, we'll do a little zoom in. So there's a little pocket in here and that is where you store your harness when you're not using it. So we pop our, um, our uh, buckle in there and then if we come underneath our seat here, there's also another section in here, this cut out here, where we can store our buckles. So we can just pop our buckles together and pop them into this section here to store them underneath here. I would recommend also taking off some of your covers as well because it will make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, if you take them all off, I'm not gonna do that now because it takes so much longer to do. But you can see we can store all of our buckles underneath here like this. So as you can see, we've now turned this into our booster. And we're now going to use our normal car seat belt on this seat because we're not gonna be using harnesses anymore. And this would be for your child who is probably four, um, around that sort of age, but certainly over 105 centimetres um, and over 18 kilos or, or between 15 and 18 kilos, but ideally at the top end of that. So there's a little uh, catch on the side here that you link your seatbelt through. We'll do a zoom on that, uh, zoom in so you can see it. And what that does is that holds your seatbelt appropriately across your child. And then all we're going to do is pop our seatbelt across the child and plug it into your normal seatbelt buckle. Now you'll notice on this seat that we actually have no armrests. And this is because the current regulations do um, recommend that it's very important where 
the seatbelt sits across your child and that it sits across the top of their legs and not across their tummies because that obviously in an accident situation is more dangerous. So this seat will do that. It will also recline in its own access if your seat, if your headrest has been removed. And we do always recommend that you remove your headrest at this point. So this is the fantastic new all stages car seat from our friends at Silver Cross, the Motion All Stages. It is available in store if you'd like to come and have a look at it in our Canterbury store. If you are watching on our YouTube channel, we'd love it if you gave us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, feel free to message us via any of the normal channels and we'll do our best to answer them. And if you are watching on our YouTube channel and you want to subscribe to our page, then we always really love to see you back again. And you can do that by pressing the red icon at the top, the bell icon. It will send you our other videos as we record them. Um, it is available to purchase now. Uh, we think it's a brilliant seat and we hope you agree with us. Thanks for joining us again today. Come back and see us again very soon.